Celebrities like Rihanna come to our minds when we think of wealthy ladies, right? The richest women in the world, all of whom are billionaires, prefer to keep a low profile. In fact, until I conducted my study, I didn't even know who most of them were. Number 10. Abigail Johnson Even though we make fun of Abigail Johnson's daddy issues, she undoubtedly has the opposite problem. Get it, whatever it may be. She assumed control of her father's $1 billion company Fidelity Investments in 2014. The company was founded in 1946 by Edward C. Johnson, Abigail's grandpa, and has been passed down through the family. But how does she live her life? She attended some of the best private schools during her delightful upbringing. She received her Bachelor of Arts in Art History in 1984. Because, as you are aware, wealthy people can study such topics without concern for their future financial security. Even few years later, she graduated from Harvard Business School with an MBA. Number 9. Iris Fontbona This 80-year-old billionaire is from the beautiful Latin American country, Chile. She is a mining magnate, media proprietor, and a philanthropist. She is the wealthiest person in Chile, but she is also the third wealthiest person in Latin America. The first two are Carlos Slim Helu and German Larea Mota Velasco, both from Mexico. I'm sure you're curious about how she acquired all that money. Well, to put it simply, she had a wealthy husband. In 2005, Adronico Luxic Abaroa died of cancer, leaving most of his business, Antofagasta, to his sons and his wife. Antofagasta is a copper mining group and apparently it's one of the biggest mining companies on the planet. Number 8. Miriam Adelson Glitz, glam, slot machines, luck and chance. You guessed it! Our next billionaire woman made her fortune from casinos. But before this entire glamour, Miriam studied medicine in Israel, where she was born. She married Ariel Oxhorn, who was also a doctor, but they got divorced and later she had a massive stroke of luck. She met Sheldon Adelson on a blind date in 1991. This was probably the most perfect blind date ever because he turned out to be the billionaire who owned Las Vegas Sands. He also possessed nearly 50 stakes in the casino capital of the world. Then, they fell in love and got married. Number 7. Suzanne Clatten Clatten is the richest woman in Germany. And here are a few facts I've found out about her life. In her younger days, she studied business finance and marketing. She also earned an MBA from IMD Business School. However, she is not a self-made businesswoman. When her father passed away, she inherited most of his fortune. That included his 50 stakes in Altona, a pharmaceutical and chemicals manufacturer, and a 12.5% stake in the automobile giant BMW. Like many billionaires, she is engaged in various other business ventures and she now owns shares in several other lucrative businesses. Suzanne met her now ex-husband Jen Clatton in 1990 and they later had three children. She was involved in a sort of controversy in 2007. Number 6. Gina Reinhardt Reinhardt is the executive chairwoman of Hancock Prospecting, a mining company that was founded by her father, Lang Hancock. However, her story is a bit different from others. Because the company was bankrupt when she inherited it, Reinhardt worked tirelessly to transform the company. And right now, it is the largest private company in Australia. She made a fortune and was able to invest in other areas. She even bought some cattle stations. Her life is not completely drama-free though. Her first marriage was to a man named Greg Milton. They had two kids, John and Bianca. That marriage didn't last too long, and later she married Frank Reinhardt, a corporate lawyer and executive. Reinhardt had two more children, Hope and Gina. 
She has had a turbulent relationship with the children from her first marriage, and most of it concerns inheritance and position within the company. Number 5. Jacqueline Mars Ever wonder who owns most of the world's favorite candy? I'm referring to Snickers, Twix, M&M's, Milky Way, and you guessed it! Mars Bars? Meet Jacqueline Mars, the world's biggest candy maker. Her grandfather Frank C. Morris actually founded the Morris Candy Company. Like most of these billionaire women, she's been married more than once and she has three children. But don't expect to find out much because this family is quite mysterious and works hard to protect their privacy. Number 4. Mackenzie Scott Scott became the third wealthiest woman in the United States and the fourth wealthiest woman in the world after her divorce from Jeff Bezos, founder and executive chairman of Amazon. She came from seemingly humble beginnings. Her father was a financial planner and her mother was a homemaker. Moreover, she married Bezos in 1993 and was one of first Amazon's first employees. She played a very influential role in its early days and took a step back when it began to do well. Number 3. Julia Cook My first thought was, wow, she doesn't look 60 at all. In the past, Cook graduated from the University of Central Arkansas, then worked as a model. She had a love for the fashion industry, which was probably influenced by her parents who owned a clothing store. Also, she worked as a fashion designer for some time and even did fittings for Nancy Reagan. In 1999, she met the man who would someday cause her to reach billionaire status. What's hilarious is that she met David Cook on a blind date and was not impressed with him at all. This certainly was not a case of love at first sight. Somehow, she decided to give him a second chance and they started dating seriously. Number 2. Alice Walton Alice Walton is the daughter of Sam Walton, founder of Walmart. She was born in Arkansas and spent most of her childhood there. She completed her bachelor's degree in economics and started her career as an equity analyst and money manager. In 1988, she founded an investment bank called Llama Company. She was also influential in other roles for example, she helped with the development of the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. I think it's fair to conclude that Walton was quite hardworking and didn't sit around simply waiting for an inheritance. Her love for art led her to be influential in developing the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. Number 1. Francois Bancourt Myers And our winner, the richest woman on the planet is none other than… drumroll please… She is Francois Betancourt Meyers. Her wealth comes from our world's obsession with beauty and cosmetic products. Her mother, Lillian Betancourt, was a French heiress, socialite, and entrepreneur with a sizable stake in the corporation. Her grandfather, Eugene Schuller, created L'Oreal. In 2017, she passed away and as a result, Francois's wealth tripled. She was brought up as a devout Catholic. She likewise wedded Jew and they brought up their two boys as Jews. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Thank you in advance for your feedback. I am Miss Luxurious signing off for now. Do not forget to visit our YouTube luxury channel Luxoid to explore the exemplification of the great state of comfort and extravagant living.